Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to compare numbers with multiplication problems. Okay, let's begin with our first example. Now we're going to write one set of numbers on the left and the other set on the right. And the question is, which symbol do we place between the two sets of numbers? Now, do you recall the symbols? Let's write them here in yellow. That means less than, equal to, and larger than. So how do we work this out? Which symbol goes between the two sets of numbers? Well, the first thing we have to do is to calculate the two different problems. Let's do this one first. We've got 5 times 6. What is 5 times 6? Now, you should know this from your 5 or 6 times table. 5 times 6 is 30. How about this one over here? 9 times 3. 9 times 3, again you should know this from your 3 times table, is 27. So now we are comparing 30 and 27. Which number is smaller? The smaller number is 27. So therefore we put this symbol between them. Don't forget the arrow in yellow points to the smaller number. So 5 times 6 is greater than 9 times 3. OK, let's have a look at our second problem. This time we have 5. So those are our two sets of numbers. Again, the first thing we do is we calculate each of the answers. So 8 times 7 is, come on, you should know this, 56. 11 times 5 is 55. So now we are comparing 56 and 55. Which number is smaller? It is 55. So the arrow points in this direction. Again, it's all quite simple, isn't it? Let's have a look at one final example. Suppose this time we have 6 times 4 over here and 5 times 5 over here. Again, the first thing we do is let's work out the answers. 6 times 4 is 24. 5 times 5 is 25. So we are comparing 24 and 25. Which number is smaller? It is 24. So therefore the arrow is pointing in this direction. And that is how we compare numbers with multiplication problems. First solve the problems and then work out which symbol goes between the sets of numbers.